It's official. The U.S. House of Representatives has just officially passed what they call an assault weapons ban. But let's be very clear on what this proposed ban actually is. It's not a ban on sporting rifles only. It's also a ban on most semi-automatic handguns and many shotguns as well. But let's look at the, the realistic path of this particular bill. Well, first of all, let's say it wouldn't have passed because there were five Democrats that voted against it. It would have needed most, you know, almost all Democrats to vote for it. Five voted against it, so that would have caused it to fail. Except two Republicans did vote for it, so it did pass. Now, in order to pass the Senate, because if it passes the Senate, of course the president's going to sign it into law. But in order to pass the Senate to avoid the filibuster, it needs 10 Republicans to sign off on it and 100% of Democrats. I think there's about a 0% chance of that taking place. So I do believe that this bill is dead in the water. And that's kind of what this is about, that, that you know, we got close um, and we are close. It's still a possibility. I'm not saying it's, you know, I said zero, I'll give it a 1% chance because I guess anything's possible. Uh, but I do not believe that this Senate uh, bill will, I do not believe this bill will pass through the Senate at all. Um, again, I'll give it a, a small percentage. I'll take away my zero and throw in a one or a two there at best. Um, but, you know, it's going to take at least 10 senators to approve it. Uh, two Republic, or ten Republican senators to approve it to avoid the filibuster. I just don't believe that's going to happen. As well as 100 percent of Democrats, which you've already seen, it doesn't have full support from the Democratic Party. Um, I don't think they're going to see that in the Senate either. Um, but what I will say is the fact that we got close um, and what is written within, it's not about military style rifles because military style rifles have a selector switch that lets you go to three round bursts or full automatic. These are sporting rifles um, that can just go from semi-automatic or safe, uh, just like uh, most handguns and just like a few shotguns. So all those things that take magazines and have a pistol grip would be potentially banned with this new, th with this new uh, assault weapons ban. So uh, there you go. I don't think it's gonna go through. Um, I'm a little surprised it made it through the house. So you know, we shall see. But when it hits the Senate floor, I, I don't think it's going anywhere. I think it's going to be filibustered pretty quick and then it's just going to be dead in the water. Um, that's my thoughts. If you have any insight or thoughts on this, definitely put that in the comments below. But uh, this proposed ban has been approved through the House. Now it's on its way to the Senate where I do not believe it will pass because it needs at least 100% Democratic vote and 10 Republican votes to not be filibustered, which I don't believe will happen. Um, and if it did, then I do believe the president would sign it and it would ban virtually almost all guns. Uh, future sale, um, future distributing sales, that sort of, so past guns could be grandfathered in, but future guns would not. And that'd be really almost any sort of semi-automatic um, weapon that takes a magazine would potentially be in there. So. Um, any thoughts or insight on that, definitely put it in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Phil called to support this channel with Patreon. That link is also below. The most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns.